Senator Paul Gazelka from the Brainerd Lakes area is the new Republican Senate Majority Leader. Gazelka was elected to that position shortly after the election. Our Logan Gay got a chance to catch up with the senator to talk with him about his new leadership role. After the November 8th election where Senator Gazelka was re-elected to represent District 9, he has had an additional reason to celebrate after being named the new Senate Majority Leader. It's incredibly humbling because you're picked by your peers who you work with every day and for them to select me, you know, there are other people running. Uh, it, it's an incredible honor. Since the Republicans have taken control of Minnesota Senate, they are choosing to put health care and tax relief as their top priorities. Everywhere I went, people were concerned about the health care crisis, both costs and access. And so we need to roll up our sleeves and, and do the best we can on that one. A lot of people want us to have a, a, a permanent solution for transportation to cover roads and bridges, so that'll be a priority. And, and hopefully we'll be able to pass the tax relief plan either similar to what we had. With Republicans holding the majority by one vote, Gazelka says that they will work even harder to find middle ground. We will try to set an agenda that makes sense for, for both the House and the Senate. They're very different bodies, but that doesn't mean you can't work towards agreement. And then the governor, you know, we're going to do our best to work with. I, I know him personally. We are friends personally. And I think, you know, that is a good start. And then what are the things that we can agree on? Now, we were close on a number of things last year, but just didn't quite do it. Any changes to health care will need approval of Governor Mark Dayton. In Baxter, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. Senator Gazelka will start his term as Senate Majority Leader in January. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.